today we are visiting uh, Il Dex, uh, a small island not far from La Rochelle. Uh, Il Dex uh, is a place where Napoleon uh, spent uh, some time uh, after he lost uh, the Waterloo battle, before he got captured and uh, sent to uh, the St. Helens Island. On our way to uh, Il Dex, we are going to uh, pass by uh, the Fort Boyar. It's a historical uh, fort which was built uh, to protect um, the nearby area. Uh, but which was actually actually never used as a military fort and uh, in general it's just a very nice place so we're going to spend our day here and um, let's go the easy way to get to ildex uh, is by taking a ferry from la rochelle port the trip takes less than an hour and on its way uh, the boat passes the famous fort boyar The Fort Boyard was built to protect the French naval base in Rochefort in the 19th century, about 200 years later than originally planned. The delay happened because of the difficulty and the cost of constructing the fort so far away from the coast. And when the construction finished, the fort was no longer needed because the artillery range increased a lot by then. For a short period of time, the fort was used as a prison. And now Fort Boyard is where the world-famous TV show takes place. What we really love about this island is the hollyhock flowers. Uh, they're really tall and beautiful here. And now we are in the inland uh, oyster farm and we are going to try some oysters and potentially some other food.
In places, uh, Ildex feels very Mediterranean. It's quite small, only 2 km long, but a walk around it can easily take 3-4 hours. Some call it the Little Corsica of the Atlantic, possibly due to its connection with Napoleon Bonaparte. The island offers a lot. There are two military forts, uh, two very interesting museums, some excellent food and great nature. The island may be small, but they even have a vineyard here. I wonder if they have a good wine too. If all you want to do in Ildex is just sit back and relax, you can find some really nice beaches there. And if you don't want to walk or ride a bike, uh, you can take a tour on a horse carriage. And did you know that Napoleon Bonaparte spent his last days on the French soil here, in Ile d'Aix? After losing the Waterloo battle, he tried to escape to the United States, but he was blocked by the English Navy here on the island. Napoleon finally surrendered and was held as a prisoner for several days here in this house before being sent to Santa Elena's island. Uh, the building now serves as his museum. Here is a fun fact. In another nearby African museum, there is a stuffed camel which Napoleon wrote during his Egyptian campaign. Unfortunately, we could not visit either museum because we had to catch a ferry back to La Rochelle. There are two forts on the island, uh, designed by the famous military engineer Vauban. One of them, uh, Fort Hedo, was once used as a military prison. It is picturesque, but is quite difficult to find, so make sure you follow a map to get there. Another fort, uh, Fort de la Rat, uh, is much easier to find, because it's right next to the port. And it also has two beautiful lighthouses on its territory. If you have time, we also highly recommend making a day trip to another nearby island of Ildere. We traveled there during our previous visit. 
It's much bigger than Ildex, uh, and you will need to plan your itinerary very carefully if you want to see several places, because public transportation there is quite infrequent. However, it also has uh, a very good network of cycling trails. We were only able to visit its central beautiful town of San Martin, but the island is also famous for its oyster farms, picturesque salt fields, great seafood and beautiful ocean beaches.